Thanks for tuning in to Modern Dog Training. My name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a dog trainer behavior technician. And it seems to be everybody is hung up on the sit cue. What I often tell puppy kindergarten students is your dog already knows how to sit. What we're gonna do is teach the dog to sit on a hand signal and a verbal cue. But they already know this behavior. The problem people run into is they want to chant sit, 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 as a cue when their dog is discombobulated or perhaps they're nervous or something's going on that's chaotic and they're trying to get the dog to refocus. At that point, you're better off asking the dog for a touch, a hand targeting cue, or maybe just have the dog go into their crate or behind a gate to chill out. But chanting sit, 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 sit is not a good idea. Here's where I like to use the sit cue, upon approach to humans. I love teaching dogs an auto sit. So I teach them right away that when you approach me, I'm gonna give you the hand signal for sit. Right away, first thing as I introduce myself to the dog. This prevents jumping and it teaches the dog immediately, this is the best option when you approach me. Now, if you do that with everyone, guess what's gonna happen? The dog's gonna generalize it. And you should do this with everyone because nobody's bummed out when a dog walks up to them and sits in front of them. Teaching an auto sit is great because it gives dogs manners. It teaches them what to do when they walk up to a person or a person walks up to them. Remember, when you're teaching sit, ask for the verbal first, wait a second, and then back it up with the hand signal. Or just use the hand signal, which looks like this. The other place I like to use the sit cue is at doors and gates and street crossings. This is really important because it's a safety measure. You never know what's on the other side of the door. There could be a dog, there could be a person, and it teaches dogs impulse control, which is really important because a lot of dogs have very poor impulse control. It's just the fact of being a dog. A lot of times they're really excited to get through the door and they're jumpy and they're trying to get through the door. And if you teach them that when you get to the door, you have to wait or you have to sit and wait or the door will shut, guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna learn to sit and wait at doors. So don't get hung up on sit. It's not a default behavior you should chant at your dog when things are chaotic or you need them to do something. It's not gonna work most times if it's really crazy and things are exciting, you need your dog to refocus. As I said, use a touch cue where they target your palm. Watch this video we did on teaching touch. Thanks for tuning in to Modern Dog Training. I really appreciate it. If you wanna teach your dog how to use the hand targeting cue, touch, watch this video right here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget, train force free every day, all day.